This show is produced by the Harwood Podcast Network. Hey there, I'm Cameron Harris. We love making this show available to you free of charge, and you can help keep it that way by making a contribution to our Karma Jar or by becoming one of our sponsors. To learn more, visit our website. Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of SketchUp, a 3D toolbox. I'm Cameron Harris, and this is episode number 48. Now, a little while ago, I got an email from Terry who asked me if there was a way to animate inside of SketchUp. And by that, he meant animating the camera, what you see. So sort of uh, setting a predefined path through a model, if you wanted to show it to someone or export it as a movie. And the answer is yes, there is a way to do that, and it's actually pretty easy. So we're going to talk today about two things, scenes and how to animate them into a full-on animation. Let's take a look. Now some of you might remember this particular model we're working with today. I've used it as an example model in a few episodes. This is a great one to work with because it's pretty much finished and this is a really good opportunity to start using some animation in here. Now instances where you might use animation, if you have a particularly interesting view and a nice angle of your model that you want to save, or if you're doing it uh, as a presentation for a client or you know, even just a friend, then you can animate it together and have a predefined sort of a tour of your model. And this is also really great if you have a large model, particularly a, an entire house that has multiple rooms, you can have a scene for each room. Now let me explain what a scene is. A scene is basically a way of setting the exact position of your camera in SketchUp. So whatever you're looking at in SketchUp, it saves that exact position and then you can call that up at any time down the road. And you can have multiple scenes in your project. And that's the first step to animating. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing to do is to just move your camera to a point in SketchUp that you like. So for this one, let's start out here. This is a very nice dining room kitchen model. So I'll go out here. And this is a nice, very nice angle because it's a little bit up and it kind of it kind of contains the entire model. And now we're going to set our first scene. Now to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the View menu, and then we're going to go down to the Animation section here, and then we're going to click on Add a Scene. So let's go ahead and click Add Scene. And you'll notice when we do that, we get this extra little bar up here that says Scene 1. Now this bar only appears when you start actually adding scenes to your model, and that's where all of your scenes are saved. So that's where you can go to call those back at any time. Now, just having one scene isn't very interesting, so let's add a second one. Let's move the camera in a little bit. We'll go ahead and maybe go down here where we start looking in to the room here. This is nice, sort of right, right as you enter. And let's go ahead and go up to View, Animation, and we'll add another scene. And now you'll notice when we do that, up in the bar here, we now have Scene 1 and Scene 2. So this is exactly what we want. Now let's start toying with this and calling these scenes up. So let's say we click on the Scene 1 button. Instantly, we swoosh back out to the same exact view that we were at before. So that just kind of calls up that position again. And if we click on Scene 2, same exact thing. It animates us right there. And if we're in another portion of the model entirely, let's say we were over in here working on one of these uh, bits of tile, for example, and I want to get back out, I just have to click on Scene 2. Takes us right back out to Scene 2. So this is really great. And uh, let's go ahead and add a couple more scenes here. OK, so I've added a few more scenes here in my project for a total of five. We've got our first scene here and the second one that we added. And then I added a third scene that looks into the kitchen here, a fourth scene that gives you a different angle, and a fifth scene that is from the kitchen looking out. Now we're going to talk about how to manage these scenes, because at the moment they're just all called Scene 1, Scene 2, Scene 3, and we don't know how to update them or rename them or reorganize them. So let's talk about that for a sec. Now the first thing to do is obviously Scene 1, Scene 2, Scene 3, blah, blah, blah. That's not a very descriptive name for your scene. You're not going to know, oh, Scene 1, that's the angle looking into the living room. You're not going to know that. So what we need to do is we need to rename these. So we'll click on Scene 1. So this is sort of the wide shot of the entire model. Now to change the name of your scenes, all you have to do is go up to this bar here and right click on them. And then we can choose Rename from this little pop-up menu. 
So we can just click that. And now we can type in whatever we want. So let's go ahead and type in wide shot. Hit return. And now that name is updated so it appears as wide shot in that list. Very nice. It's very descriptive. We know what that is. And then we can go to scene two. And then this is the, uh, this is the dining room. So let's rename this dining room entry, let's say. There we go. You can make these as long as you want. Now let's talk about reorganizing these things. Because you'll notice we, after that we have scene three, which is the kitchen, scene four, which is the kitchen, and then we go to scene five, which swoops around back to the dining room. It would make sense to have this be right after the dining room rather than going dining room, kitchen, kitchen, dining room. It would make a lot more sense that way. So how do we reorganize these once we've added them? Is to right click on the scene you want to move, and then you can say move left. That pops it back there. You see it's still called scene five. And then we could say move left again. And that way we go from dining room entry right into scene five, like this. Let's say, let's say we go into our wide shot here. Let's say, eh, I'm not too happy with the way this looks now. It's a little bit too far away. Let's, maybe we could get a little bit closer. Well, all you have to do is click on wide shot. Make sure that your wide shot is uh, highlighted in blue up here. That means it's the active scene. Even if you're not actually in that position, that's the one that's currently selected. So let's say we move the camera in a little bit. This is good. This gets you a little bit tighter in. And now all you have to do is we just have to right click on the wide shot and choose update. And when that does, it basically redoes that scene. It keeps the name and all the settings, but it updates the camera position. So now you can see if I go back out, this is more like what it was, but if I click on the wide shot scene to load it up, it pulls us a little bit tighter in. That's perfect, exactly what we want. So that's how you can organize, rename, and update all of these scenes. Now let's talk about animating them, because this actually is a really cool feature in SketchUp. Scenes by themselves are great for just, uh, you know, kind of triggering them yourself. Uh, say you just want to jump from place to place in your model really quickly, or this could be great for a presentation. But what if you want it to happen automatically, almost like a slideshow? Well, all you have to do is just click on the first scene you want. So load up wide shot. That's our first scene in our order here. And then we just have to go up to view, animation, and play. Now when we click play, all we have to do is just sit back and watch the animation play out. You can see it zooms in here, and it's going in order. Swoops back around like this, back here, and then it loops back around. So it does happen on a loop. Once it gets to the last scene, it jumps back to the first one. So this continues to play out. Now this is just kind of a full automatic animation. You really don't have any control over this right now. So let's go up to View, Animation, and we'll just click Play again to stop this. So let's, let's see. We do have a little bit of customization here. All you have to do is just go up to View, Animation, and then Settings. Now, what we've got here is we've got a checkbox for Enable Scene Transitions. That basically tells SketchUp whether you want to, when you switch from scene to scene, whether you want it to actually move the camera in between or just cut straight to it. Uh, and then these are the only, uh, these are the only values of the animation that we can change. We can change the transition time, so how long that swoop is, and we can change the slide delay time, so how long it stays on a scene or a slide. It's almost like a slide projector. So let's say we wanted to, oh, let's make the transition pretty quick. We can make it uh, one second. And let's say we want to hold for three seconds each time. And let's see how it looks now. You can see the transition is much faster now. So it holds longer on each scene before swooping around again. And there we go. Now, unfortunately, that's really all the customization you have. It's a pretty basic tool set. It's just how long does the transition take and uh, how long does it hold before moving on to the next scene. So like one thing you don't have any control over, for example, is if we go from the wide shot to the dining room entry, the animation from point A to point B is literally just a straight line from point A to point B. You can't say, OK, go through this doorway or, you know, swoop around this way. A good example of this is, is transitioning from the dining room entry to the dining room from kitchen. You can see that it actually goes through some walls. 
it's not as a powerful animation tool as some might like, but for things like a, a presentation or something like that, it's plenty powerful. Honestly, I would recommend you just trigger the scenes manually if you are giving a presentation or something like that. But if you want to have um, not a SketchUp model, but an actual video file, you can actually do that too. Uh, all you have to do is make sure you have a couple scenes in your project, otherwise this option won't show up. And make sure that you have your animation settings set the way you like it, so you can preview what the movie is going to look like by just going to View Animation and hitting Play. So that'll give you kind of a preview of that. And then all you have to do is go up to File, Export, Animation. And then when you do that, it's going to ask you where you want to save it and what format you want to save it. So you could save this actually as you know JPEG images if you wanted to, but we're going to go with a movie. And we'll save this as uh, SketchUp number 48 animation. And if you click on options, uh, you can choose the format. It defaults to email, which is a very small, kind of heavily compressed file. But you can go with any size you want. You could do full quality DV if you wanted to, or even if you go to custom and you know how to set up video settings, you could actually set this up to be uh, pretty much anything you want. For now, let's go with just, um, let's just go full quality DV. And let's go ahead and hit OK. And we'll go ahead and hit export. Now this part can take a little while. You will, you will see it rendering, it's called rendering, when it kind of bakes this video for you and exports it out. It'll take a little while, so go out and grab a cup of coffee or make yourself a sandwich or something. But when you come back, you will have a video file of all of those animations, which is great because you can send that video file to people who don't have SketchUp and don't know how to trigger the scenes themselves. Or you could load that video onto a DVD or post it on the web or something like that if you want to show off your model. So there's some pretty cool options here. Uh, again, it's not as powerful as some people might like, but then SketchUp isn't really built to be an animation tool. It's built to be a modeling tool. So some pretty cool stuff though. Scenes can definitely come in really useful, particularly when you have a large model. Uh, if not for a presentation, just for yourself to navigate through your model very quickly. Rather than having to manually maneuver yourself through rooms, you can just say, take me to the kitchen, click, and it just takes you straight there. Very cool stuff. Now, until next time, be sure to visit our website at www.harwoodpodcast.com. I'll have the show notes for this episode and, of course, all the other SketchUp episodes we've done. Some really cool stuff up there. Also, be sure to check out the network on Facebook at facebook.com slash harwoodpodcast. You'll not only get alerted every time we post a new show, but you also get some pretty cool behind-the-scenes peeks as well. And if you have any questions or comments for me about the show, like Terry did, you can send me an email at cameron at harwoodpodcast.com. Until next time, guys, I'll just say goodbye and good modeling.